I'm actually quite proud that the college finally stepped up to the plate and did the right thing. This work of art at the center of a debate at Dartmouth College is heading to a new home. They use very stereotypical and quite offensive imagery of native peoples where the native peoples are presented as part of the part of the flora and the fauna. The mural currently in a closed off section of a campus dining hall was inspired by a drinking song written by Richard Hovey in the late 1930s as a depiction of Dartmouth's founding. I have images of native peoples that are linked in with the animals. You see bears and you see other uh, animals. The women are depicted mostly naked or are, 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 are predominantly naked. Um, one is holding a book upside down as if you know, education is not having much of an impact or a, an appropriate subject for, for them. Professor Bruce Dutu says the dispute has been going on since before he was a student at Dartmouth in the late 70s. Well, in the 70s, you get a very different demographic group of students mm -hmm. at Dartmouth and images like the hubby murals uh, became sites of contention. Students leading the charge, part of a group studying the mural's removal. So I applaud their courage, their patience, um, and the clarity of their thought in terms of helping us under the college understand uh, what it needed to do. Other students agreeing this was the right call. For like educational purposes, like examining their own past and making sure that they're like critical of themselves and moving forward. It will be moved to the college's Hood Museum for storage to be used only as a teaching tool. But we did not want them destroyed so that they could be preserved as an artifact of the uglier sides of Dartmouth's history. The removal slated for later this fall. In Hanover, Matt Layton, NBC5 News. <laughs>